I have never, ever voted for one. Some of my best friends voted for Reagan in 1980, the first presidential election I could vote in. How the fuck does anyone vote for Reagan? How do you put people in government who say government is the problem? I am old, and I am old-fashioned. I watched Watergate on television and came around, came away thinking perhaps the system can work. And although I wouldn't have said it this way at the time, and although it sounds naive to say it now, in the 70s, I thought that liberal democracy was our best hope against concentrated corporate and economic power. That hope is nearly dead, thanks mostly to the Republicans. How do people vote for these fucks over and over and over again? I have never, ever, and not just nationally, but locally too. Here in New York, I have never voted for a Republican. When someone runs as both a Republican and a Democrat, I say fuck you, Koch, and vote for somebody else. Thank you for the bike lanes, Bloomberg. Now go fuck yourself, you Republican. I have never, ever been interested in trying to make persuasive arguments about why people should never, ever vote for Republicans. If you think Republicans have a solution, you are part of the problem. This should be a nearly timeless truth. Although, of course, there was a time when Republicans were not the criminals. I am looking at a picture of Alton Brooks Parker, the Democratic nominee in 1904, and thinking, yeah, I would have gone for the Republican just like everybody else did. And in 1924, no fucking way would I have gone for the Democrat. John William Davis was a straight up racist piece of shit. Motherfuck him. Back then, a lot of Democrats would have been Republicans and vice versa. It switched at some point. In 1850, you would have heard me swearing about the fucking Democrats, which I still do today, by the way. So many of them are spineless, chicken shit fucks who don't know how to win and don't deserve to win, except by default. Too many of them are barely the lesser of two really, really fucking evil, fucking evils. But until we get ranked choice voting and add some more states to the union or do something else about the electoral college, we are fucked. Maybe we are fucked regardless, but there is fucked and there is fucked. And here I go again. It's just a repetitive tirade. But what's wrong with that? I'd like to know. In conclusion, I'd like to say that I have no conclusion. The waters will continue to rise whether we choose the lesser or greater evil. The waters will rise, the poor will go hungry, justice will not be served, Iran-Contra, Bush v. Gore, waterboarding, kids in fucking cages. I continue to hope that one day we will be the country we could be, but I have never lived up to my potential. Why should I expect my country to? In conclusion, I'd like to say once more, Fuck the Republicans and good night. It's just repetitive tirades. It is just repetitive tirades. We're just repetitive tirades. But what's wrong with that? Thank you.
Marlon. Okay. Marlon, Susan, and Double. John S. Hall. John S. Hall. Clearly, he's brought on the uh, partisan moment here. Okay. We're almost uh, finished with this uh, wonderful 5 to 6 p.m. Uh, hour, and it's a little after 6, so we're actually on. Now we're running on Poetry Project time. Yes. Okay.